When we think about motion photography, the first thing we probably think about is panning photos. But we can also get super creative and take motion blur portraits. On my Instagram story, I recently posted my brother's self portraits and then one of you guys asked me if I can make a tutorial for this effect, so here it is. The first thing you guys will need is a tripod since we will be taking two photos and one of those photos will be shot at a slow shutter speed. For this shoot, we used a gray background and set a light over the subject's head with two layers of blue gel filters to add some color to the light. Then we added a second continuous light with two orange filters as well to add a contrasting color to the portrait. And we placed this orange light on the ground facing up. So here's our full setup. For the first photo, you will want your settings at a slow shutter speed in order for us to get that motion blur effect. And have your subject go through a movement and take the photo as they're going through it and once you've taken it, it should look similar to this. For the second photo, we don't need a slow shutter speed since we're just going to be taking a regular portrait. Once you've taken both photos, make sure to apply the same edit to them so it keeps a consistent look. Once you have both of your photos open up on Photoshop, go to the blur photo and then click Command A to select the entire image and then click Command C to copy it and now go back to the other photo and click Command V to paste the copied image. The next thing we're going to do is bring down the opacity to about 60% and then create a layer mask since we will be hiding certain portions from this layer. And then make sure to select the black brush since that is the one that allows us to hide certain portions from the photo and then change the brush opacity to about 17% so when we start brushing it's not as sensitive and we're able to make a smoother transition. And now I'm going to start brushing away portions from the face so it looks a little bit cleaner. And by cleaner I mean so the face looks in focus and it's not hidden and lost behind the effect. And now I'm going to zoom in and select the white brush and then just brush a few areas from the cheek to fade it in a little bit better so the transition looks a lot smoother. And that's pretty much how you get the effect. And if you wanted to get rid of something like this, you guys can always bring back the opacity to 100% and then select the black brush and start brushing over it. And from here, you guys can continue to edit the photo. And I'm just going to add a curves adjustment to add a bit more contrast to the photo. And then I'm going to add another curves adjustment and just add a little bit more contrast. And this looks pretty cool to me so I'm just going to leave it right there. And there you guys have it, here's the final photo. I want to give a huge shout out to my brother who's been killing it on Instagram recently with all his self portraits he's been posting. So I'll have his Instagram linked down below for you guys to check out. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, it really helps out. One more thing I want to say before I end today's video is that it's really cool to see you guys post a template that I made and I only get to see it when you guys tag me. And I'm not saying you guys have to tag me, but it's just cool to see that you guys are actually using it and that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys for the continued support. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Alright, peace.